Yeah, I'm losing my We are edge. talking about Trump tweets today and how to trade them. And uh, Trump has been tweeting for years. A lot of people like to dig up his tweets from like 2010 and 2012, where he's talking about um, like random reality TV shows and everything like that. And uh, his tweets a little bit more important now that he is the leader of the free world, uh, the president of um, one of the most powerful uh, countries in uh, uh, on planet Earth here. Um, so yeah, a little bit more importance given to his social media presence. And we saw this uh, front and center yesterday, uh, 2 p.m. Central Time, Donald Trump tweets about um, stopping the, the COVID-19 relief talks. Um, he uh, is, is done with, uh, with bailout programs for um, uh, small businesses and, and individuals until uh, the election, he says, and uh, they want to focus on getting the new uh, Supreme Court justice finalized uh, before the November elections here, which everybody has opinions on. But I frankly don't care about anybody's opinions or my own for the sake of the show, because we care about trading and how to you know, manage risk around this, how to speculate and potentially make some money trading uh, you know, stock markets, trading foreign exchange markets and trading uh, commodity markets like metals here. So we're going to be looking at small U.S. dollar SFX. That's a, our, our benchmark currency product here at the small exchange. We're going to be looking at small technology, which is our benchmark, uh, one of our benchmark stock index futures here at the small exchange. That's 60 stocks in technology ranging from Apple, Amazon, Microsoft to, you know, biotechs like Regeneron and, and a few other interesting names there and media companies like Twitter itself, uh, which uh, Donald Trump, the platform he used to to voice this message. And uh, we'll see how that reacts and how we could potentially trade that around these Trump tweets. And then finally, uh, our commodity market here, small precious metals, SPRE. Let's see how gold and silver reacted to this um, yesterday, because you could see Trump tweets. Uh, <laughs> I don't even need to tell you when it was. It was right before 2 p.m. Central Time here. And everything freaked out. We see the dollar getting a bid to it. Uh, it was actually up most of the day, and then it moved back to unchanged later in the day. And then uh, a nice big fat rally in the dollar, a huge sell-off in the stock market, about 2% sell-off right as this news comes out. And then metals, it's interesting. You know, A lot of people like to make the case for metals, this flight to quality. And so with all this being said, you know, uh, Trump tweet goes out fear enters the stock market, you might guess gold and silver move higher as that flight to quality. No, uh, gold and silver have actually been more highly positively correlated with stocks. And so you saw a down day in metals going into two o'clock and then even further damage being done as metals ended the day down almost 3% after Trump's tweet. So that's a little bit of the background. Um, but now I want to dig into, you know, uh, where and when is their opportunity? Because this is what we really care about um, here for for the intents and purposes of trading. You know, uh, if if I'm if I have a long stock portfolio and one of these Trump tweets occurs, you know, what should I be doing to manage some of that risk? Or you know, if I'm an active trader who's flat, I don't have many positions in my portfolio because I'm buying and selling intraday or interday. Um, what should I be looking at? Because at first blush, it seems like the move is to go with everything. You know, uh, Trump comes out and, and, and tweets this uh, bearish uh, sentiment filled um, 140 characters, or did they do 280 characters? I don't know how many characters he gets, um, but you see the stock market sell off and you might think to yourself, oh, well, I should sell with it. I should go with that. But you see this immediate bounce and then you see today, everything is actually, I, I didn't even account for this in the charting, but everything's already back to where it was yesterday. You had the, the small technology futures sell off from about uh, just above 54 all the way to 53. And right now they're trading back at 54 this afternoon, just 24 hours later. And uh, same with metals and same with dollar. A lot of everything today on Wednesday, reversing Tuesday afternoon's move. And so, uh, you know, it maybe takes longer uh, and it may be harder to get on the other side of these trades, but that's what I really think the opportunity is 
in trading Trump tweets. So let's dig into it a little bit more, put some numbers around it, because uh, it's, it's, it's too easy to just say, uh, yeah, get on the other side of everything, and that's the end of the show. What we usually look at to gauge opportunity is anything that's outside of the normal range. You know, before I even opened up Twitter and saw uh, the damage that was done, given uh, President Trump's uh, tweet thread that went out at about 1.48 p.m. Central Time yesterday, um, I already knew something was up because we're looking at these average ranges in sticks, the stock market, in SPRE, the metals market, and in SFX, the dollar market. And when I'm looking at my platform and I see everything goes from being inside these ranges yesterday to well outside of those ranges, I know something's up. And, and that's where I start to think, okay, there's some opportunity here uh, in, in this spree market that was down over $2 yesterday afternoon, the sticks market that was down a dollar and a half yesterday afternoon, and SFX that was up about 50, 60 cents. Um, and so we're going to start with those numbers in our head and then look at what went on yesterday. You see sticks fell by a dollar 20 in 10 minutes. And once again, uh, that, that quick uh, violent move, it's really hard to go with because, you know, 10 minutes uh, is is enough time for algo traders and and uh, big uh, market making firms and, and, and prop shops uh, all over the country, professional traders. It's it, that's enough time for them to digest their computers to digest the move and go with this trend. But you and me at home here who are doing 10 other things and uh, have our trading platforms up and our social media platforms up, um, it's really not enough. And uh, not even 10 minutes where this thing falls by a dollar twenty to these lows. But in the first you know, 30 seconds to a couple minutes, most of the damage is already done here. So you miss a lot of the selling opportunity. But what you did have, uh, you know, so about one fifty. To two o'clock, you see this huge sell off of $1.20. And I just told you that an average day is about 80 cents. So we've got something going outside of the average day. To me, that's looking like opportunity. What to me is the most opportunistic part of this isn't the $1.20, $1.20 move lower, which is the biggest move of yesterday, but the smaller but uh, easier to handle, uh, easier to get uh, the trade on for here. Uh, the trade was the, the 50 cent bounce. Um, that's what occurred in the next 30 to 45 minutes here as you see the market get as low as 53.20 and then get all the way back to 53.75. Um, I like that a lot better. And, and then you're seeing even the extension further today where sticks is all the way back to 54 um, because, and I spoke to this a little bit uh, earlier, Nothing has really changed. You know, if, if Trump wants his um, Republican uh, senators and representatives to stop talking about COVID bailouts and relief funds um, until after the election, yeah, that's going to change some of the conversations going on in the political world. But what is it going to change for uh, Apple, Amazon, Regeneron, the biotechs, uh, Twitter, media companies in tech? Um, not a whole lot. Uh, it would take some real fundamental changes in the next 30 days for that those stocks to lose the billions in market capitalization that they lost in a couple of minutes. And that's why you have the bouncing effect and you have the extension uh, even further today. So I like uh, you know being signaled whether it is you were on Twitter and you saw these tweets come out or you were just on your tra trading platform and you saw a dollar twenty move lower. Um, that is ringing uh, to me as opportunity to get on the other side of. And as you can see here, you had the 50 cent bounce in the short term. And then in the next 24 hours, you've got a sticks market that is back to right where it started prior to all this, this tweet mess. And you go over to uh, to SFX, sorry, uh, the US dollar, and you've got a sa the, the same thing just to the other side and actually a little bit less of an extent, just 50 cents higher in the next 20 minutes. And then it gave back about 20 cents uh, going into yesterday's close. And then today it's giving back another 30 cents to get back to exactly where it was yesterday prior to Trump's tweets. You move on to metals, you've got the same exact thing here uh, where SPRE fell by a dollar 30, which is telling me, okay, that's outside the average day. Something's going on 
And I like my chances of getting on the other side of it and betting on uh, it end up being an average uh, 24 hours moving forward. You see the 50 cent bounce similar to stocks and it closed back at these lows. But once again, you're seeing SPRE now up a dollar today. So the immediate bounce off of uh, these Trump tweets, I like getting on the other side of it um, for the short term and just uh, it's one of those news items that you ask yourself does this truly change the landscape for the price of gold the price of apple stock the price of amazon stock and all the rest and if the answer is like i, I don't know i'd have to cl- connect a lot of dots for it to change the landscape for that then i just like trading on the other side of that noise and you know this is a game where you can't just buy every single tick lower here in metals that's why we use these values to say okay uh metals going into the trump tweet if we stick with this number here spre the average day is about a buck 30 going into the trump tweets here uh we're at 74.25 the low is 73 so it literally got exactly that one dollar and 30 cents lower that's where i'm starting to look to get on the other side of this trade same with sticks here the average day about 80 cents this market moves lower by a full dollar, a dollar twenty even. But when it's down eighty cents here, that's where I'm looking to start to get into a couple positions. And so, you know, it's a matter of uh, seeing uh, the opportunity in the movement of these markets, gauging it with that one standard deviation, and saying, okay, uh, Trump tweeted, and so now these markets have moved outside of that average day. Using that measure as the entry point. And then also having your mechanics to get out of that position, because it's nice that, you know, you could have started putting on some long sticks positions when it was down 80 cents, a dollar, a dollar 20, and then gotten rid of those positions on the 50 cent bounce. But if the market did continue 50 cents lower, you have to start peeling off some of that risk uh, on those few occurrences when Trump tweets or a Fed chairperson speaks or, Uh, We get some inventory numbers in crude oil or we get some non-farm payroll numbers. And a few times you'll see the big move off of that and the extension because something truly fundamental has changed. But more often than not, that's not the case. And and it's just all noise. And and so, yeah, you you set your barometer for what is an opportunity uh, around Trump tweets. And it's these numbers for our uh, small exchange stock commodity and currency markets, you start to look at those boundaries that they push around the Trump tweets as entry points. And then you have to think, what are my exit options here? If these Trump tweets actually lead to something that takes uh, the sticks market from 54 to 53 down to 52, then I have to have an exit strategy. But you're really hoping for uh, managing um, profits. And that's what we would have seen in the last 24 hours. Uh, So, you know, and it's never going to be the same story. Um, It was trade talks with China a couple of years ago. That was the the Trump Twitter mover uh, there. Here now, it's uh, a a lot of COVID related stuff coming out of his social media feeds that are are moving stuff around. There'll be something else uh, in the next 30 days for sure as the election uh, nears. But all you can do is have these 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 values that you look at for gauging opportunity and then gauging where to exit that opportunity for hopefully profits, but sometimes inevitably losses. And that's how you trade Trump tweets with small exchange products.